Looking like a good day for our first two-handed sale. The fly apocalypse. We just did our first sale. We're going to Milwaukee today. So which one do we go down to? Um, let's see, so yellow's up there, then red, then yellow, then white. We just want to go to yellow. Yeah, three quarters of the way. I'm excited and nervous about getting out of the dock. So we're docked on the Root River in Racine, which is about a quarter of a mile to the opening of the lake. And when there's heavy rains, the current moves pretty quick. But when there's heavy winds out on the lake, it actually pushes the water back up the river and we have reverse current that's pretty strong. So we have a lot of like flooding and draining and it's pretty tight in here. We're a 37 foot boat. We've got maybe 60 feet, if we're lucky, to get out of the slip and make a 90 degree turn. And then we're only at 200 feet away from a bridge that has to open. So it's kind of dicey sometimes. And then also our docks are really short. Our docks are short. They're not the length of our boat. Everyone keeps telling us that if we can dock here and undock here, we can dock and undock anywhere in the world. <laughs> I think that's a bit of an exaggeration, but it is pretty tough. We have two bridges we have to go under. The first one will open anytime we tell it to. The second one only opens every 20 minutes. So we have to time backing out of the slip, waiting for the first bridge to open. Sometimes he does it right away. Sometimes it takes a few minutes, depending on the traffic. Go down the river about a tenth of a mile and then wait for the next bridge. As soon as we backed out of the slip, it was like the river was gonna take us into the bridge. And if the bridge didn't open, it was a pain in the ass to turn around. And... Sometimes the river wouldn't take us into the bridge. Right. It would take it us would the take other us way. Backwards. And right. sometimes the wind would take us into the bridge. Yeah. And there were often little tiny dinghy boats that were hard to look out for as we're thinking about blasting our horn, backing up, which way the river current's going, untying the dock lines. <laughs> uh, and I think I almost ran over a kayaker once. <laughs> There's just too much going on, yeah. and we forgot to turn on the camera. It's looking like a good day for our first two-handed sail. <laughs> just the two of us. Here goes the bridge. What are you doing? <laughs> We've had a bunch of flies just swarm the boat. I started wiping them off and then Kirk came over and I was steering and he's wiping me off with this feather duster. Why are you talking about me in third person? I'm talking about the camera. <laughs> and then it was just hopeless. They were just covering everything and it was a losing battle. And so we had to start the motor or else we would have been swarmed alive. This is really smart though. It is previous owners just use a little feather duster because then you won't have smooshed the bugs all over your boat. This spider is going to be pretty happy right here. He's got a whole bunch of meals heading his way. So this is our first real sail and we put in a reef because we had this kind of squally looking thing come through and we are cruising along at 4.8 with one reef in, a little bit of rain, and I am happy as chappy. Happy chappy, I'm a happy chappy. Because it's cooled off, it was almost 90 degrees earlier. And uh, now it's like a nice, what is it? It feels like 70. And it's beautiful out here. The wind shifted about 45 degrees, kind of knocked down some of the waves. We're just ghosting along. Happy chappies. The aftermath of the fly apocalypse. We had to roll up the Genoa and kill them all. And now it's raining. Yeah, they're smashed. Look at this. That is what we've been dealing with.
Up until this point, we had only ever taken our boat out for day sails, just a couple hours out into Lake Michigan for the afternoon and then back into our home port of Racine. We were planning to meet Lauren's parents for dinner, or lunch, was it? Yeah, I think it I think was it, lunch. I think it was lunch. It turned into dinner. This was the first real life lesson in how sailing and plans do not go hand in hand. What's happening over there? <laughs> All right. That's how a seal gets out of the water. Or, or. How was it? That was so much colder than I expected. I like. I like lost my breath when I fell in. Really? Jumped in. I didn't fall in. Yeah, I was like, <gasps> <laughs> I am such a sissy. I find more ways to drink around here. <laughs> this is our boat over there. Right. There. We just did our first sail. All right. All the way from Racine. Our first one way sail with a destination. Yeah. And now we're going out to dinner with my parents. And I think they're really hungry because we're like going out two hours later than And we keep stopping to admire our boat. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> pregnant Heidi. <laughs> All right. Should we run? You can't run in a dress very well, can you? Hey, I can pick it up. Pick it up? Summerfest is touted as the world's largest music festival. Hundreds of bands play on multiple stages over a period of 11 days. The Summerfest isn't just about the music though. Ooh, what's it about? All sorts of entertainment. <laughs> We walked around and listened to a song or two of a bunch of different bands we had never heard of before. But later that night, we got to see a band we recognized, Slightly Stupid from San Diego. Hey guys, we have our first Avi avian visitors? What's up guys? Hi. Eat those bugs. Get them. <laughs> Don't move them back out. So when it came time to leave Milwaukee, the wind had kicked up overnight and we were having 18 to 20 knots coming in through the harbor. It was a tricky situation to figure out how to get out of there without being blown downwind into the dock right next door. We had quite a long and intense discussion about the process for getting ourselves off the dock here. In the end, we just had to go for it. Kirk swaddled the engine, the boat started moving backwards, and I held tight onto a dock line to keep our bow from falling off downwind.
And as the boat started to spin nicely around a port, we knew we were clear of the dock. Captain Lauren, getting us home safe. Eighteen to twenty knots on Lake Michigan really kicks up some rollers out there. It's a different type of wave because there isn't as much fetch on the Great Lakes as in the ocean, so it's all localized wind. So the the swell period is really short. So you've got these super steep waves with hardly any trough in between. So you're just being tossed around. It is literally like a bathtub. Never thought you'd look behind you so much while sailing, uh -huh. huh? <laughs> How big are these waves? Oh, shoot, I don't know. It looks like six feet to me. Six feet Hawaiian or six feet? Probably three or four foot Hawaiian, six feet for real. <laughs> I was at the helm for about mm, right. 40 minutes. Yeah. As soon as I left my post of paying attention to the boat, having my mind focus on something other than how queasy I was feeling, I started to feel awful. So we gave her a cockpit cushion and threw it down on the floor and a pillow and blanket. And, and I went horizontal for the next four hours. She curled up there <laughs> for the remainder of the trip. We had only done day sails at this point. And we'd always been sailing with someone else, too. Friends a friend or, family. or family. But we were still sailing the boat, but... There was others around in case something drastically wrong yeah. happened. Someone else to be able to call the Coast Guard or something. <laughs> <laughs> so this being the two of us, it was, it was kind of a nerve-wracking experience being out in the lake, navigating the boat and planning our route and making sure we didn't have too much sail off, being in total 100% control of your surroundings. We were sailing our house now. This was where we lived. So it wasn't like just some toy. Rental boat. Yeah, that we could just, <laughs> oh, no big deal if something happens to it. So the sail to Milwaukee was a really good test for the trip we were planning to cross Lake Michigan in a couple of weeks. It was our first sail to a destination uh, where we actually kind of had to follow a course and get ourselves somewhere, not yeah. to just some indeterminate point out in the middle, middle of the, of the lake, lake and back. <laughs> it was a really good experience to just be out there, just the two of us in our boat, and kind of get to know each other and get the, the we butterflies. Know each other. We just had to get to know the boat. <laughs> it was a really fun little sail. Bye, Milwaukee. Bye.